This is my business. I'm Dole Clark, so it doesn't mean anything to me. What's your name? Speak up. What is your name, please? Ray. All right, here's what I want to do. I got something in a blue gabardine I want to talk to you about. I had a very good day at the market today. I couldn't get a chicken. But I bet on a horse today, 20 to 1, I'm coming a quarter to 8. You look like a guy that sold me in Essex. Look at me play. You're trying to fight me, and don't fight me because I'm not a well boy. These are terrible pains, and the wedding is definitely set a week from Sunday. Solomon Zeller is driving through. You listen to me. I'll talk to you. You think I lost you, didn't you? But you're not driving me mad. There's a nail in the head, and you're grinning, and I think you get back $9. You're tightening around. I'm fed up with it all. There's a madman. You see, I'm not a well boy. These are terrible pains. I said to Freddie, the wedding is definitely set a week from Sunday. Ah, so you thought you did it. So don't call us. We'll call you. You're not staring, but the wedding is definitely set. We'll meet him back at the store and look at me. The doctor said, you listen to me when I'm talking. If you're grinning, will you smile? Who killed Cock Robin? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You may get me out of the business. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't look over there now. Isn't Winchell a wonderful man? One of the nicest men in the whole world. Walter Winchell, he's sitting right there. But don't look at him now. Personally, I can't stand him. <laughs> we went out to his party. Get, get, you flip with this. We went out to his house at party. He's got the most gorgeous home you've ever seen. Fourteen rooms. All rented. <laughs> We had all the big celebrities there, you know, Roy Smet. <laughs> and the food was so beautiful. Well, we had one dish there called sliced sweet cream. <laughs> Is this the regular girl? <laughs> Fifty-five seconds. That makes uh, sixty and fifty-five. One hundred and fifteen seconds. You oh, that money. One hundred and what? One hundred and fifteen dollars. One hundred and fifteen dollars to you. Thank you very much. And your next contestant is from your celebrity section, Mr. Basil Rothbone. Well, that's a man. All right, we proceed. You know the rules, don't you? You just don't laugh, Basil. But yeah. I think I think you're an easy audience, like I am. I laugh at anything. However. We're on. Don't the clock is ready to start, Walter, so make me laugh, Henny Youngman. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Whatever happened to Sensory Hayakawa? You should know. <laughs> you see that girl over there, Anita Eckberg? I had a dream the other night. I had a nightmare. That Anita Eckberg and my wife had a fight over me. My wife won. <laughs> <laughs> Anita Eckberg, you take away a long blonde hair, what do you got? The sexiest bald headed woman in the world. <laughs> You know, uh, you and I look like bookends right now. <laughs> Are you married, Mr. Rathbone? Yes. Well, I haven't spoken to my wife in four weeks. I didn't want to interrupt her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my wife talks. <laughs> my wife talks all day. Yappity, yappity, yappity. Mm -hmm. Had her on the beach. She got home. Her tongue was sunburned. Where'd she get time? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We'll get a normal asylum picture tonight. And I want to tell you about my wife is on a diet now. She eats nothing but coconuts and bananas. She doesn't want any weight because she's climbing a tree. Time now for Gene Bailey. I got it, you're my witness. Here's what I'm going to talk to you about. I want to shorten the sleeves a half inch, raise the coat, because I think these styles are coming back. I thought I saw you this many times, and I want to tell you, you look like I got a little closer because we're going to shoot you for camera. Ah, oh, that's the idea. Wow, that's the idea. Now, where'd you leave the truck? Outside? Good, you did a swell job. Of course, you know the wedding is definitely set a week from Sunday. I'm not trying to use pressure on you, but these are terrible pains, and the wedding is definitely set a week from Sunday. Stand and look at me because you know I'm a doctor, and you know I'm not a well boy. Hey, well, I think I lost him, and I think I lost myself. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Right after the show, I'll appreciate it very much. On the way out in the lobby, if you'll try some of my jams and jelly. <laughs> Delighted. You're at living and let me work alone. But here's what I'm going to do. I think we blew the whole job, but here's what it is. It's definitely set a week from Sunday. Those that are driving, please have a call. The wedding? I didn't enjoy you and Sherlock Holmes takes a cab. <laughs> Don't 
point. Uh, <laughs> is that a funny name for a movie star, Buster Crab? <laughs> <laughs> so we go over to Walter Winchell's house and he takes us home. Get this, he's got a beautiful car. It's a brand new sports model, a European sports model. It's a uh, 1957 Julius La Rosa. Beautiful car. So we would, he took us home and we're going downhill, you know, and we're going home to this house. <laughs> Bye. And uh, so get this, so we're going down and a cop stops us. And he walks over to us, it was downhill, and he says to us, the cop walked over, who's there? <laughs> Mr. Rathbaugh withstood all three of our comedians, and so he wins the full amount of $180, and that's all we have time for. And Mr. Rathbone told me it's going to the Actors Fund of Deserving Cause. This Thank is Actors Fund of America Week. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> with me, Basil, please. Uh, you have so much class, I appreciate Walter, you giving Walter, me some. No, bless you, dear heart, but this is Actors Fund of America Week, and actors work for a lot of charities, That's and this right. week we work for our own. And Mr. and Mrs. United States, don't forget Actors Fund Week this week. Not long ago, ladies and gentlemen, I received a letter from my son. He is touring the old country right now. I believe he's in Rome. He said in a letter that he had enjoyed a very exciting dance team at the Moulin Rouge in Paris. My son wrote me they would be swell, Dad, on your show. So from Walter Winchell Jr. to you, Mr. and Mrs. I Love USA, Paige and Bray. <laughs> I say that he's the greatest gang And 
Likewise, I'm her biggest fan. I say her kisses are like wine. She says they're not as good as mine. And that's the way we pass the time of day. My baby and me, we belong to the moon. cigarette for a good reason. Here, for example, ladies and gentlemen, in this message from our alternate sponsor are some gentlemen who enjoy their smoking straight without a filter. This building will be the new multi-million dollar air terminal at New York International Airport. The men who build our modern cities are a special breed. They're men of action, and their smoking shows it. They take their smoking straight. They go for Old Gold, regular or king size, because Old Golds taste great straight. In straight smoking, only one thing counts, the taste of the tobacco in the cigarettes. And Old Golds have that taste. Rich and mild, they taste great straight. Just try them and see. Old Golds taste great straight for a very good reason. Old Golds give you more nature-ripened tobaccos, so rich, so light, so golden bright. No wonder Old Golds taste great straight. Old Gold tobacco, so rich, so light, so golden bright. No wonder Old Gold tastes great straight. Last week, ladies and gentlemen, with the President and his Mamie, flew to Miami, Jacksonville, and Richmond. I was in the Eastern Airlines White House plane for the reporters with the Secret Service. These young ladies were the hostesses. Look at those faces. I brought them here tonight because, in my opinion, beauty is also entertainment. Miss Anne Westmoreland, Miss Imogene McHale, and Miss Bridie Moran. Thanks to Captain Eddie Rickenbacker of Eastern Airlines for letting me come Our stars next week, Steve Allen's Andy Williams, recording star on the Cadence label, Art Carney and Lee Ann Merriweather, a Miss America, you know, in a scene from the seven-year itch, thanks to Mr. Axelrod, and Patrice Munsell, that lovely star of the Metropolitan Opera House. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. I Love USA. Good night. <laughs> Orchids by Orchids of Hawaii. Your announcer, Ken Roberts. was brought to you in compatible color, pioneered and developed by RCA. Oh.